Hello and welcome to another video here at AV Forums. This time we're taking you through our recommended picture settings for the Samsung UE55 JU7500. As always on the Samsung TV to access the menu system, you need to press the menu button on the remote control. And go into the picture submenu. There you'll see there's the picture mode options. Um, you've got dynamic, standard, natural and movie. As always we recommend you use movie. This will give you the most accurate out of the box settings. Then backlight, we've set that to 10. This is for uh, evening viewing in our particular environment. Maybe different for your TV and your environment, of course. But uh, generally we found for a, a comfortable viewing experience in the evening, a backlight setting of 10 was fine. If you want to set something for a daytime setting, you need to set it a bit higher. But certainly for evening viewing, backlight set to 10. Contrast set to 90. Brightness default setting of 45. We turned the sharpness control down to zero because we found anything above that started to add ringing to images. Color set to 50, which is its default, and default setting of tint at the middle. And apply all picture modes to all sources. Picture size, picture size 16 to 9, fit to screen on. Then going down to the advanced settings. We've got dynamic contrast, just turn that off. Same goes for black tone, turn that off as well. Flesh tone, leave that at zero. Now, color space, this is the color management system. You need to select the custom mode, and then in there, if you want to try these settings for your TV, you can, although we have to say that out of the box, this was a very accurate TV in terms of its color gamut. It doesn't really need much of a adjustment with the CMS, so you could probably just skip this. But if you want to try it out on your TV, and we can't guarantee this will make any difference, it may make things worse and not improve them, but if you want to try it, you can set the red for red 38, green 0, blue 4. And for green, red 14, green 49, blue 6. And for blue, red 2, green 6, blue 44. And for yellow, red 50, Green 47 and blue 7. Cyan, red 13, green 50, blue 50. And for magenta, red 37, green 4 and blue 45. Moving on down to the white balance control. Again, grayscale was very accurate on this TV out of the box. Don't need to do much to make it improve it really. I mean, it was already well within the range and below the threshold of 3 before we did anything. But if you want to try, you can just adjust the two points slightly. Here you can see we've got red gain at three and blue gain at minus two. Gamma we set to plus one. That gave us a 2.2 gamma setting in the measurements. And then picture options, color tone at warm two, digital clean view off and MPEG noise filter off. Auto Motion Plus, we turn off particularly for film content, but if you want to experiment with it with uh, fast paced sports content, you can try that. But always, with any kind of film based content or TV dramas, turn it off. And Smart LED, we set that to low, which gave us nice blacks, good dynamic range, without introducing any artifacts. Um, in fact, actually, with, with Samsung TVs, their um, local dimming system is actually very effective. And that's it for the picture settings for the Samsung UE55 JU7500. You can read the actual review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. You can also see more videos at avforums.com forward slash videos. And why not follow us on Twitter? And like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.